In this video, we will look at the history of OpenAPI, how this idea of OpenAPI initiative was formulated, how it has grown for the last few years and so on. In the year 2011, Tony Tam created Swagger API to do client SDK generation and create the API documentation automatically. Also, the UI for it was considered to try out the APIs that were created in the document. This way, the user can just try out the operations to see how it works without any other external rules. In the same year 2011, Swagger API was made open source so that the open source community can collaborate and improve this specification. The next few years saw this new standard being adopted by industry leaders. The Swagger project started gaining popularity among the development community. The main reason being everyone loves standards. If all can work on a single framework to define API, then it becomes easier to work with APIs. At the end of 2015, a new organization called Open API Initiative was created by Smart Beer Software, the company behind Swagger. The same industry leaders that had embraced this standard became the founding members of this initiative. Smart Peer Software did this to separate the Swagger API standard from the various API tools that they develop. This way, the standard is more organized and has independent authority. In January 2016, the Swagger specification was renamed to Open API Specification to separate the specification from various tools. Currently, the term Swagger is used to refer to the API tools provided by SmartBear software and the term Open API is used to refer to the API specification. Due to its transition of the name from Swagger API to Open API, the terms Swagger and Open API are being used interchangeably by many people. However, going forward, the right way is to use the term Swagger for tools and the terms Open API for the specification. Hence, the API specification will be referred to using the term Open API throughout this course. I recommend you to do the same when you communicate with others. In the next video, let us have an overview of this Open API specification.